top 3 ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, by now some videos on the paranormal that run on the web are so grotesque that calling them false would seem like a compliment, like the video of a girl with a face painted in white, which the title of the video declares to be a ghost, while trying to walk on all fours at the on the contrary, with obvious difficulty. Someone also points out the obvious shadow of the girl projected on the street that has nothing to do with ghosts, and someone argues that only a drunkard could mistake this prankster for a ghost. Friends, welcome back to episode 52 of our, Top 3 Ghost Trapped on Video, series, let's start our ranking. Uncle is still with us. In previous episodes we have dealt with the subject of children and ghosts a lot. The video we are about to show you was shot by an American mother filming her little two-year-old daughter talking to something invisible. Posted on the TikTok channel titled T-Mama featuring numerous scenes from family life, this incredible video has been viewed by over 8 million people. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Evelyn. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? As explained in the caption on the video, Tana's brother has passed away two months ago, but Tana's daughter seems to say the words uncle several times and seems to be conversing with someone. Who are you talking to? But the most disturbing thing about this video is the EVP that is heard at the beginning, a male voice that, according to what Tana has declared, completely resembles the voice of his brother. Who are you talking to? According to what is reported in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, the deceased remains on earth for a quantified time of around 49 days. Tana is sure it is her brother's voice, and to confirm this she publishes a video shot with her daughter weeks before his death. Grandma, grandma. A paranormal document which, if confirmed, would demonstrate how certain NDE books and testimonies report correct narratives about the mystery behind post-mortem events. The problem is me, not my new home. In second position in our ranking we move to the French territory where an urban explorer named Tristan moved home at the end of 2021, starting to experience strange events at home that led him to install some security cameras and shoot some videos with his mobile phone to witness what was happening. Posted on the TikTok channel entitled Tristan8104, containing very normal videos of daily life, the video is one of the many footages uploaded to its page about paranormal phenomena that occurred within the home. In the comments many users write that it would be better to leave the house or have it blessed. Tristan argues that the spirit is not attached to the house but to him, because this is not the first time he is in front of these scenes. The analysis of the video shows that there are no tricks, there are no wires to move the chair, which seems to have no precise direction.
In this other video while he and his partner were resting in the living room, Tristan hears some noises immediately turns on the camera and one of the doors closes by itself. These events are reported several times on the TikTok page, along with some CCTV videos that resume objects moving on their own during the day or night without distinction. The phenomena were intensifying every day and the video that most shocked his followers was the one related to the rod or knob of the shutter of a window, where even his cat, perceived that something was wrong. The video, seen by almost 7 million people, divides the community in two, those who claim that it is all a trick, those who have experienced this kind of phenomena and defeated it in the most disparate ways, changing homes, performing religious purification rites. Tristan recently stated that the phenomena have temporarily ceased, but he is afraid they will return. The patients are still in there. And now get ready friends, eyes wide open as we are moving to Louisville Jefferson County in the state of Kentucky, USA. In episode 46 we had already talked about the Waverly Hills Sanatorium, opened in 1910 as a two-story hospital to house tuberculosis patients and one of the most haunted buildings in America. With a terrifying record of over 50,000 patient deaths on the spot. Inside, bloody operations were also practiced by surgically implanting balloons in the patient's lungs and then filling them with air to expand them. In addition to the rooms, the surgical room and the hospitalization area, it is possible to visit the death tunnel, an underground railway line built to transport nurses from home to the hospital. Over the years, however, the uncontrolled increase in deaths has led the hospital to use this underground space as a mass grave for corpses. Given the suffering experienced there, many are convinced that the place is literally haunted by ghosts. One of the Waverly Hills tales is about the ghost of a man in a white coat that they have often seen walking into a disused kitchen for years. Testimonies claim that you can hear footsteps, moans, slamming doors and shadows wandering in those corridors. You could also see the ghost of a little girl named Emily, about six years old, who died inside the sanatorium, torn to pieces inside the washing machine drum in which she had taken refuge to escape the therapies she was subjected to. A nurse had turned on the washing machine without noticing the little girl hidden inside. One of the most haunted rooms is certainly number 502, where many patients would have committed suicide from the window, throwing themselves downstairs. Someone who visited room 502 reported seeing shapes in motion near the windows and hearing non-human voices ordering those present to go out. In addition, in 502 a nurse hanged herself and another shot herself in the mouth. In this horror place, one of the most appreciated investigators of the paranormal we know made an exploration, Franco who in his YouTube channel entitled Franco TV published a video on March 1, 2022 where he claims to have managed to capture something truly incredible. So there is a very interesting thing about this location too. From what I've seen online, there is a 600 feet drop body <sighs> chute. That's they would, right. They carry all the dead people into the morgue or oh all the people who God. passed away into the morgue. Down that body chute, apparently mysterious noises, humming sounds can be heard, cold spots being felt. Look at the size of this place. Do you know there are anywhere between 11,000 to 65,000 deaths that occurred here? 65,000. Well, it's 187,000 square feet, so yeah. It is very clear that this is the most horrible place to do a paranormal investigation, and the boys along with Franco proceed through the corridors which are literally spooky. This is the first time. I've always heard about Waverly Sanatorium, but I never wanted to come here because it was so expensive just to get in here. But I'm happy I did. And I got to go with... I think, uh, two very awesome people. I don't want to talk too loud, just in case if I do hear something or see something. And I believe in this particular area, they would have the patients out here that would have tuberculosis to get fresh air. I also think that this was one of the areas where a picture of a ghost could be seen peering from a door. Um, it's like a woman. It's one of the most authentic pictures of a ghost ever captured and it was captured here. And in fact after 10 minutes Franco manages to capture something that manifests itself behind a door. It's 
place is creepy. I keep hearing shit. When Franco turns the camera and frames the room, a shadow is seen passing very quickly behind the door, but Franco does not notice it immediately. When the group move into the children's wing, they try a spirit box session to try to communicate with them, and here, the camera collects amazing images that literally put the chills. I am now on the fifth floor. Mitch, what exactly happened to people on this floor? So this is the worst of the worst. So this was the kids' war on the fifth floor. So all the kids that were the sickest with TV came up here. The adult one was the other side, but you, know, you can see there's all these toys around here. But this was where the sickest kids came, and a lot of them probably didn't leave it after coming up here. If there's any, this was where the sickest kids came, and a lot of them probably didn't leave it after coming up here. If there's any, this was where the sickest kids came, and a lot of them probably didn't leave it after coming up here. If there's anybody here with us tonight, can you give me your name? Can you talk to me? Is it, or any of us? Give me a sign that you're here. I'm Mitch. <laughs> That's Mitch. I'm Pete. And I'm Frank. Who are you? An extraordinary number of movements behind the windows of the room where the boys speak seems to show a group of figures similar in height to the children who observe the group. But it is in one of the corridors that Franco, after hearing noises coming from a room, thanks to the help of the night vision camera, manages to capture a figure at the end of the corridor. But it could be reflecting from outside, but I'm not too quite sure. There it goes. What is that? What the hell was that? I just got something right over here. It almost looked like something sticking its head out for a brief second. Holy shit. That's the wind. The video is literally filled with sinister sounds, shadows, moving figures, and creepy EVPs like this one captured in the Tunnel of Death. Wow, this reminds me of Hell's Bar Dam. That long, creepy tunneled hallway. Yes. What should we do? Let's go down. Let's an amazing and gruesome investigation that I recommend you go and see in full, on Franco's YouTube channel, find the details in the description of this video. Of course there is no shortage of the usual producers of fake paranormal videos like this video entitled, Ghostly Demon Man Caught on Doorbell Camera, where a guy who, knowing the glitch of the camera that observes him, spins in circles making his body appear and disappear as if it were a ghost, complete with a human shadow projected on the asphalt. Our episode ends here, if you think we've done a great job, reward us by leaving a like or comment to help the channel grow. Follow us on our social channels and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on video news. Thank you for watching, see you soon, good night.